Hi everyone and welcome to this week's weekly reading wrap up and midweek I thought I wasn't going to have any books to talk to you about this week because I got absolutely hooked to The Sims 4 and I couldn't stop playing and I wasn't doing any reading but in the last couple of days I've managed to really pull it out of the bag and I've managed to finish three books this week. The first of which is one I am so excited to be holding up right now and that is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien and this is a book that I picked up late last year as a book a readers on challenge to pick up some things that you'd not enjoyed in the past and to say I've not enjoyed this in the past is an understatement because I it's one of the only books that I have not finished several times I've started it more times than I can remember and put it down around the same place every single time so this time I really worried that I was going to do the same yet again because I hit the same point and I was like oh, why am I doing this I've been watching so many videos about how you should just DNF books if you're not enjoying them. Life's too short, etc, etc, etc. And I was just like, why am I doing this? But then I decided I really want this done. I really want to never have to worry about picking this up ever again. So I forced my way through it. What a slog. With a reward, which I will talk to you about later. But I did pick something as a reward for if I finished this yesterday which I did and I gave it two stars mainly because actually I think I enjoy the backbone of the story and the plot and the ideas there and what is actually happening I just don't enjoy the writing style everything takes about 10 pages to get one little thing done it's just too descriptive it's too dull and stretched out and this book isn't an overly long book anyway but I feel it could just be so much shorter. So yes, needless to say I am actually really proud of myself for finishing this and I'll keep it at least for now. I don't really get rid of books so it will stay on my bookshelves for some time but I am struggling for space so maybe if I ever get around to actually unhauling some books this will probably go. The next book I read is a graphic novel and that is called The Sound of the World by Heart. I need this in front of me to pronounce this, by Gia, Gia Como Bevilla, Gio Como Bevilacqua? Why did I not look up how to say this beforehand? What an idiot. Gio Como Bevilacqua. The name's just there because I am clearly butchering that. And as you can tell by the name, this is actually a translated work. And I received a free digital copy of this graphic novel from the publisher at Vinet Galley. And this English version is expected to come out on the 11th of April. So you've got a little while to go yet. Closer to the time I will be uploading a more full, detailed, but non-spoiler review. And because this doesn't come out for quite some time, I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. Because I'd just be hyping you up for something that you can't get for ages yet. But this is quite a difficult graphic novel to sort of properly explain actually without spoiling stuff but I gave it four stars I really really enjoyed it the artwork is phenomenal I'd say if you're into graphic novels where they have stunning artwork regarding regardless of subject matter this is definitely one that you'll want to check out it's beautiful to look at most of the pages contain some sort of like photo idea and it it's just stunning it's absolutely stunning but yeah the the story behind this one is kind of difficult to explain you've got a guy who doesn't talk to people he is trying not to talk to anyone while he is living in New York and it gets a bit confusing at times but in a good way He's always got headphones on and there seems to be a bit of mystery surrounding what is going on with him and another person who appears in the story who, yeah, I can't really say that but it'd be spoilery. Don't you just hate the books that are difficult to describe because the spoilers would just come flying out. I'm going to leave this one there. I have not done any justice to this one at all, but look out for a somehow more full spoiler-free review closer to the time of publication. But yeah, keep this one on your radar. Four stars, highly enjoyed it. And the final book I finished this week was my current audiobook, and that was, of course, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. And 
Oh my goodness, I... Oh, what a beautiful... Oh, I'd have given it five stars, but I don't know, I feel, feel like it was one of those ones where it was maybe more four and a half stars, but I don't give half star ratings, so I went with four stars. But this is fantastic. It is, of course, a children's classic where you have got the story of Black Beauty, who is a horse, and you get the story from his perspective. And, oh, his, his journey through life, it's just... Oh. I, I love him and the story and oh I listened to this on audiobook and it was narrated by Nathaniel Parker and I can highly 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 recommend the audiobook this is one of those children's classics that work fantastically through audio you feel like you've got an adult reading the story to you as a child and oh black beauty black beauty what what a wonderful story. If you've never read Black Beauty, why not go and check it out? And if you have read Black Beauty, it's one of those children's classics that do work really, really well as a reread as an adult. So, highly recommend. And that is all the reading I got done this week. I am still reading my current Kindle book, which is actually absolutely fantastic. If I hadn't got in, hooked into Sims, I would have finished this probably within a couple of days. And if you didn't watch last week's wrap up, that book is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. Uh, Karen M. McManus. And yeah, I I am hooked left, right and sinker. That would definitely be in next week's wrap up because I am not letting myself let that book drag on for any longer because it's just fantastic, 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 fantastic. My new audio book, which I haven't started yet, but I will be doing sometime today or tomorrow, is going to be The Girl in the Spider's Web, which is the fourth book in the Millennium series by Stieg Larsson. However, this one isn't written by him because he sadly passed away after getting the third book out. And so, and so this one has been picked up by David Lager. What is with names today, by the way? David Lager Krantz. Lager Krantz? I don't know. I don't know where to begin with that name, to be honest. But yeah, I enjoyed the first three novels. I read them quite some time ago. I've reread the first one a couple of times since even. And so I can't wait to see what this edition brings with it being written by someone different. But I'm excited to get back to the old characters. Also this week, I am hoping to finish The Rosie Project by Graham Simsian. Simply because now that I've got The Hobbit out of the way, I should be able to find it really easy to just jump into all the paperbacks that I'd got on the go before trying to pick that up. This one... Looks quite chunky, but the writing's really spaced out, so doable. But before that one, I have got the treat that I mentioned earlier. So the treat to myself earlier for finishing The Hobbit was that I could queue jump a very special book to me. So because I managed it, it's going to happen. So the book that I'm going to be starting later on today is My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. And this is already out in America, but this doesn't actually come out in the UK until tomorrow. So I'm really happy that my edition arrived a day early. Thank you so much, Waterstones. And not only that, I pre-ordered a signed edition. And Sophie Kinsella is one of my favourite authors of all time. And to have a signed edition in my hands right now is just like... Oh. So I'm so excited for this. I've heard amazing reviews about it. Pretty much most people are stating that it's one of her best standalone books in a long, long, long time. So I am so excited to get stuck into this ASAP. Beyond that, I'm not really sure what else I'll be reading this week, but I feel like that's a really exciting week ahead, even just at that. So, yeah, let me know what you've been reading recently. Let me know what you plan to read during the next week. And if you've got any comments about any of the books I've mentioned today, of course, leave them down below too. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me. And I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.